starting tonight. Salt Lake City with Cal and Utah right now, ready for Indiana and Penn State. Beth Bowens, Anthony Beckton, Paul Carcaterra on the call with an assist from Stockton because Gonzaga doesn't have football. Enjoy your day, everybody. You're watching college football presented by cars.com. The old Hoosier head coach, Lee Corso, he picked Indiana to win this one. It'll be a tough test on the road against four and one Penn State. The Nittany Lions ending up a five game homestand. They have won four in a row coming into the ball game today. Beth Mullins along with Anthony Carcaterra could be a big game for Christian Hackenberg. He is facing the second worst pass defense in the country today in the Hoosiers. And for Indiana, looks like their quarterback, Nate Sudfeld, will give it a go, Anthony. May not be good news, though, for their running back, Jordan Howard. Yeah, uh, Sudfeld's ankle was heavily taped, made some throws, uh, warmed up in pregame. Jordan Howard will be playing his game. His helmet is off, just can't get it going today. Second best rusher in FBS. He got hurt last week in the first half against Ohio State. He was a game time decision, and at game time, it does not look like he will be ready to go. Will there be a letdown for the Hoosiers after that close call, that heartbreaking loss to the Buckeyes at home last weekend? Well, they don't have a whole lot of time to worry about that. Uh, they have struggled mightily on the road in Big Ten play over the years, and they are trying to inch closer, Kevin Wilson and company, to bowl eligibility. They've only been to one in the last 20 years. It's the second season for James Franklin as they continue to, in his words, get back to hole in terms of their scholarships, and their depth and getting back to being a contender in the Big Ten. They will receive after deferring, winning the coin toss. And they'll have the ball out across their own 20 to get things going. Anthony Beck, the 12-year veteran of the NFL, as well as a former All-American tight end at West Virginia. The other news, of course, who will be in the backfield for Penn State to start out this game? It does not look like they will have their top two guys. Akil Lynch is out of this game. Saquon Barkley, their top uh, true freshman running back, will not play in this football game. Nick Scott, uh, redshirt freshman, gets his first start. They will rely now on their run game. Three freshmen will have to carry the load. And of course, they have the veteran Christian Hackenberg at quarterback, making his 31st career start with an 18 and 12 record as a starter and looking for the deep ball early. Incomplete, but a little sample of what they say will be a much more aggressive looking offense today. And again, inconsistencies at the quarterback position. And right there, you see Godwin going down the sideline wide open with separation against the corner, and he underthrows the, the, the pass on there. Christian Hackenberg has all the tools. Beth, that's not the question. The question is consistency, and he's going to be needed today against a porous defensive back end of Indiana. Five touchdowns with a couple of picks. Penn State has.